You know, I'm really liking my NPAP AK variant, but there's one thing that's a problem, and that's muzzle accessories. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I'm going to show an upgrade to KNF's Precision Muzzle Thread Adapter from 14 by 1 left hand to 5 8 by 24 English. This is going to be good. So first, let's take a quick shooting impression with the stock muzzle comp. So, I like the way the rifle functions, but it'd be nice to be able to tune the amount of recoil and to use a suppressor, of course, all sorts of muzzle accessories. So, let's upgrade the rifle and then see what it's like with a 30 cal muzzle brake. Okay, so let's take a look at what it's going to take to get this muzzle thread adapter. First, I've got the Canis Precision muzzle thread adapter. I'll have the full details on all of this equipment and parts in the write-up, so make sure you click on, on that link below. I've got a Yankee Hill Machine 30 cal 762 muzzle brake and crush washer, the same crush washer that I had used on some of the other rifles, my AR-10 for instance. And of course we've got the rifle. I've got a 17 millimeter wrench for the thread adapter. I've got a 3 quarter inch wrench for the muzzle brake. I've got a small flat blade precision screwdriver and I've got a little bit of grease for the threads. So the first thing we need to do is take off the slant comp and we just depress the pin that's on the front sight and then we turn it. Now you got to remember to turn the opposite direction. So I'm going to turn in the tightening direction. Feels a little bit counterintuitive. Okay, you just need to depress that for the first little bit to get it started. Now we screw the muzzle thread adapter and like I said I'm going to put just a little bit of grease on the threads here and if we were going to do a final install on this you know we, we might want to put some non-permanent Loctite or something like that on there okay so I'm going to seat that I'm going to give it a bit of a tighten again this is kind of a, a trial run here okay now we take the muzzle brake and the crush washer we're going to put the crush washer on pointing the small end towards the brake. We're going to put a little bit of grease on there. Okay. It's just going to help things go together smoothly. Now I can use my normal righty tidy lefty loosey technique. And here's kind of the key thing is we need to use the 17 mil wrench to keep our thread adapter on there and then I'm just going to tighten this to where it's correctly aligned. Okay, so that was easy. Now let's see how it shoots with the muzzle brake. Well, I'll have to say that went together really smoothly, a little more smooth than I was expecting. And I'm really interested to see what this brake is going to do to our overall recoil. So let's uh, check that out. Very nice. I like it. And then uh, this is a generic kind of 762 brake. I'm looking for witness marks here with the bullet. Looks our, our alignment is really good and we've got plenty of diameter. And uh, overall, I like the brake. Now, next is a suppressor, so stay tuned for that. And uh, a lot of other things as well. So if you found this video useful, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to my channel. I'm off to go do some more shooting. Yeah.